Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tyler Mike. I'm here, Alan Thrall, my man, my homie. Uh, he's done strongman for a long time. More recently dipped his personal toes more into powerlifting, but he kind of started in the strongman world, competing, putting on meets, and coaching other people. It's something I've never done. I've been blessed and lucky enough to hang out with some of the best strongmen in the world, uh, Robert Obers, Brian Shaw, uh, Brian Alzru, uh, Alan, all these really top level strongman but i've never actually done strongman with them every time i've hung out with brian sean these other guys were more doing powerlifting type movements because that's their base and then they practice their skill of strongman but since i'm in this phase trying to get shredded trying to get leaner trying to get healthy trying to have a little bit more fun in my training try new things that's a lot of trying fam don't worry we're doing so if you're going to swing on your right side you need to grab towards the head of the hammer with your right hand right and then your left hand goes here okay and when you swing, I want you to swing this, the head of the hammer as high as you can, and then down like that, and you'll just slide your hand down. So again, right hand is close to this, swing it on my right side, and down like that. If you wanted to do your left hand, right? Left hand here. Uh, well, you'll see what the workout is, but the, what this class is, uh, it's a strongman conditioning class, so hopefully Mike knows that there's some conditioning in here. It's not all... Uh, but it's essentially carrying a bunch of stuff, uh, flipping tires, kind of running back and forth. Most people would call it CrossFit, it's circuit training, high intensity interval training, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we do this class three times a week. Uh, it is, like I said, a strongman conditioning class. Some people do this as a supplement to their normal like powerlifting or strength training routine. They'll use this as a just conditioning for the week. Um, some people do this only. They only come, they only train, you know, work out three days a week and they come and do this class. Um, and uh, some people do this in preparation for a strongman competition. So all types of people join in the class today. Uh, but we usually do three mini workouts and you'll see those three workouts put together today. We're getting ready for the first workout right now. How do you think Mike's gonna do? I'm gonna do really well. Uh, and, and with that said, I don't uh, take pride on like making this class super hard and making you puke. Uh, you can take this class, I tell everyone to take this class get out of it what you want. Uh, like I said, some people are doing like a powerlifting routine. They just kind of coast through this class because they want to do some conditioning. Some people, like I said, only do this. So they go balls to the wall. Uh, you know, everyone, everyone's doing their best here. Um, but yeah, you don't need, it doesn't need to be a back breaking class. But Mike, Michael do, Michael I don't do have well. to vomit to improve. Yeah, yeah, really. Start off with just some basic warm ups that probably you wouldn't do at a normal gym, right? A normal gym, maybe you walk on the treadmill or ride a bike for five to 10 minutes. Here, we're doing some jogs with a loaded sled, then some rows coming back on a rope. One of my favorite movements of all time when I have turf and a sled, I often do that for a warm up. Just gets the upper back going and your lower body and your lungs a little bit, doing a row with it. Um, what do we move on from there? From there, we did, did our first kind of uh, lower body kind of conditioning medley. It was a keg carry, if I'm guessing 20, 30 yards. Then we went into some sledgehammer slams. Ooh. Nicked myself a couple times. Just messed up the parking lot. Honestly, here's top tip top secret. I've coached a couple sledgehammer things. Never really done them. Not part of my conditioning personally. I just don't have access to that type of stuff. I mean, I guess I do it here at Untamed. I just don't use them. Uh, so we did some sledgehammer and then a weighted sandbag carry, which was way harder than I thought. I've done a lot of farmer's carries. I've done a little bit of yoke walk here and there. I've never really messed with a sandbag and that thing was only 150 pounds. Felt like a billion. So we did two or three rounds of that. Then we moved on to some upper body uh, medley conditioning strength we did a little bit of rows a little bit of cleans with the log and then 135 press with the log and then an overhead carry which is again something I've never done all these things feel good they were really kicking my lungs uh, I'm in decent shape you know I've been going pretty hard on conditioning for two to three weeks now obviously I'm not world record shape but for me I'm going hard on the step mill I'm doing some sprints on the salt bike you guys see me do some sprints on the sled here but still some of that's kicking my lungs a little bit then last but not least that was it right then the last piece yeah then the very last uh, medley piece was, uh, I think, a 450 or a 1,000 pound, who knows, a tire flip for two reps. We went to a loaded stone, which is the first thing I've ever, first time I've ever messed with a stone in my life. I've done some kind of uh, sled work, like football style with a, a tire and things like that. I've never done a stone. It hurts my little baby forearms. I'm bleeding. I'm crying. I'm going to go uh, clean, cleanse them with my Phoenix tears later with uh, Dumbledore. But for now, it was a little hard. So uh, two, two reps of each uh, tire, two reps of stone, then two tire again. I think we did three rounds over. Overall felt really good. Cool to get into a group atmosphere again, train with a little bit of a team, um, fun, cool group. Everybody's at slightly different levels, different strengths, different goals, but it's still cool. They can all do the same movements and have a little bit of fun. So, so a cool thing about this class is that it's pretty entry level. Uh, we have all different, as you can see, all different 
types of people who do this class. Uh, there's really, I mean, there's a little bit of strength base required, but you can be pretty much getting off the couch and you can join the class. Uh, or you can uh, be competing in a competition. There's actually uh, one of the guys here just won first place in the heavyweights for the last competition I hosted. Uh, one of the one of the ladies competed at nationals, um, and then there's other people who literally uh, started doing conditioning untamed strength like a couple months ago, and that was like the first thing they've done in their life that was active. Uh, so yeah, it's a good mix of people. It's kind of cool. What are some uh, benefits like someone might implement this into their life? Even if they're a powerlifter, whether they're a powerlifter, bodybuilder, obviously a strong man, or just some, someone trying to like look a little bit better, trying to get a date. I think uh, the one thing that sticks is the. Uh, uh, a lot of the members who do this is compliance uh, because it's fun because it's uh, we, it changes you know it's kind of like CrossFit it changes like nearly every workout um, and there's a group here there's an atmosphere here that people like uh, and some of these people just come from like I was floating around you know 24 hour fitness not doing anything uh, so they come to these classes and they they come because they enjoy doing it um, which I think is any diet or workout program uh, if you're not compliant it's not going to work. So, uh, so yeah, but I mean, like I was telling him earlier, some people do this only, you know, three days a week just as work, their workout. Some people are powerlifters who just do this as conditioning and they just go in the, you know, the, the lightest group and just kind of skate by. Uh, so everyone has their own reasons for doing it, but. Yep. Get blood moving, lungs a little bit better, and maybe some uh, range of motion you wouldn't train normally. Yeah. And I'm trying to get swole as fuck. Yeah, that's not bad. All right, so when you do this, you're not gonna get like, like a sumo stance to where you're like wide, hands here, like this. Yeah. Right, you wanna get away from it. I suggest like a conventional deadlift stance, yeah. right? And then you lean into the tire. So you push your shoulders into it, put your chin on it. And then from here, you're just gonna push your shoulders in the tire. Yeah. Feet through the floor, shoulders in the tire. So you're pushing with your legs like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? A little triple extension. So. Yeah, like your first stone, yeah. you were like this. And so your, your knees are so wide, you went up like this and you had to like blow your knees in. And so now the, the stone's super low on your body, so you didn't get it over. But if you get here, you can get it high on your lap, high on your chest, and then you just stand up. Turn around. Get your hands straighter though. Like dig your knuckles against the stand up. Put your hands like that. Down, down, down. Dig it ah. in like that. Straighten your arms out a little bit. There you go. Good. Nice. In your lap. Come on. All the way. You're good. Yeah, come on. Get it. There nice, there you go. You just gotta laugh a little more. Woo! When you do it, get your feet closer to the stone. So go ahead again. Don't take such a wide stance, because you gotta put it in your lap. Alright, alright. There you go. Dig your knuckles, nah, dig your knuckles into the ground. There you go. Get on your lap. Good. High on your chest, and then push your hips over the platform. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Awesome. A little hard, Alan. Two flips. That was good. Good, one more. Good. Damn good tire plug. All right, next up. That rock's a little sketchy. Ladies and gentlemen, becoming a strong man. Train untamed. It's on the mic. Check out that gym. Sacramento, if you ever want to stop by, email Alan. Check it out. If you're in the area, check out the gym. One of the coolest fit, uh, training facilities and one of the best gym owners I've ever been around. He's constantly here to make the gym better, make your experience better, and help you guys out. Obviously, check out his YouTube if you guys don't already know it. Untamed Strength, Alan Thrall. I'm out of here. New videos Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Be sure to like, subscribe, turn on that notification so you don't miss a video. Check out Twitch, link in the bio, streaming four, to, four five, six, seven times a week. Catch you guys in the next one. Sound like I'm out.